So first off, you'll be needing a chopping board or any flat platform to where you can mix all your ingredients later. And it's also great to actually lay a plastic on top so that it'll be easier for you to clean up the colors later on. And you will also be needing some popsicle sticks, one for the petroleum jelly and the rest for the different shades that you're going to be using just so that you won't contaminate the other colors. And you'll also be needing containers to where you will put your cream-based eyeshadow and gel liners. And then you'll be needing something pointy to scratch off the eyeshadows that we'll be using. Now some of the eyeshadows that I have here I actually bought. They were cheap but the pigmentation is really awesome. Some of them are um, the eyeshadows that I haven't been using lately and um, some of the eyeshadows are actually quite broken. So you can use your broken eyeshadows or use the eyeshadows that you are no longer attached to. So next up, we'll be using a petroleum jelly, and just in case if you are wondering if the petroleum jelly is safe to use on the eyes, yes it is. Um, some people actually use that to grow their lashes, to make their lashes stronger. And the indication on the back of my petroleum jelly, it says that it can actually remove eye makeup, so it's safe to use around the eyes. And way back then when I had puffy, irritated lids, that's what I used to cure it. So yes, it's safe to use on the eyes and this is totally optional but you can also use a liquid foundation or a concealer if you don't like using petroleum jelly. And guess who's been observing me while I was making this tutorial? <laughs> That's my cute dog. Now I'm going to be scraping that beautiful black eyeshadow and I'll be making a gel liner. So let's make a gel liner first. So the key here is not to add too much or too little of the petroleum jelly. So it has to be just enough. If you add too little, it's going to dry. So you might want to be somewhere in the middle. So I'm just going to add that much and just gradually add in more if I feel like it's too dry. It's still too dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in. Now if you add in, um, as I've said, a lot of petroleum jelly, your um, gel liner is not going it's not going to be too pigmented and as well if you have oily lids i really suggest that you make this um, a little bit thick and as you can see that's how pigmented that thing is now in here i created another consistency to where i made it sort of like in a clay mixture and that's what it looks like it's more dry and I really prefer to use that on my oily lids because it adheres better so now let's thread it out now I'm gonna transfer that onto a container and you are done and then I will be testing it out on my lids so the proportion and the consistency really depends on you so basically here's the thing, if you're going to add in less of the petroleum jelly, you are going to get a gel liner. If you're going to add a lot of the petroleum jelly, you're going to get a cream based eyeshadow. So now that's what it looks like. And in here I also made a purple gel liner. And that's what it looks like right there. I like how very pigmented that is. And I just transferred that onto um, one of my e.l.f. case. And then I just flattened that using a tissue. And that's what it looks like right there. Now I'm just gonna go right ahead and test that on my eyes once again. And now for the eyeshadow cream base, I'll be using my broken eyeshadow as well. So I'm gonna put um, just little by little. And I added in more because as I've said, we're aiming here for an eyeshadow cream base consistency. And that's what it looks like right there. Now I'm gonna test that on my eye. Now I closed the window just so you can genuinely see the pigmentation of what we just made. And um, this is very pigmented. You can use that as is if you want to. You just blend it up with your finger or you can use it as, as I've said, as an eyeshadow cream base. And I just noticed that I actually put, in, put a lot on my lid. So I remove it and I just put um, sparingly on my lid. So that's what it looks like, the decent version of it. <laughs> and in here, as I've said, you can use a liquid foundation. And just gonna mix that in as well. That's another option if you don't want to use a petroleum jelly and that's what it looks like 
And you will have, by the way, it's, it's gonna thicken up the consistency of your eyeshadow cream base, but it is very pigmented. But that's what it looks like. So then I went all out and you know what, you can actually mix and customize because I've gathered all of my bronzy shades and made that into that and I just swatched that for you. And if you're ever going to give this to a friend, you can actually customize it and make it look all chic and pretty because two of those things are eyeshadows. One of them is a cream based eyeshadow, which is that shade right there. I'm also going to do a little swatch for you. That's what it um, that's what it looks like. And then the other one is actually a gel liner. So that's what it looks like right there. I just really love that shade. And I also made a blue gel liner and that's the swatch. There you go. So I actually included that in the midst of the eyeshadow, so it's a great thing. So you have an eyeshadow palette and then a gel liner. And those are the gel and the cream I learned they made. And those are our finished products! Gel liner and cream base on the front. And at the back, those are the customized ones to where there are eyeshadows and then gel liner and then gel liner, cream eyeshadows. Then here are the swatches of everything! And if you guys want more DIYs, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me in a comment below. And share it to a friend if you want to make these with your friend. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye!